Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use the Pi key on the Casio FX83 GTX ClassWiz calculator. To do this we'll be using the Shift key. It looks like this located here. The times 10 to the X key with the Shift or second function of Pi that looks like this located down here at the bottom. And we'll use the S to D or conversion key that looks like this, located here. If we just want to enter pi on our calculator, it's the shift function of the times 10 to the power of x key. So to get it there, we press shift, and then that times 10 to the power of x key. We see the pi symbol appear on our screen. And if we press equals, there we go. And we can get the decimal for that by pressing the S to D key. There we see it's converted to 3.14159, etc. And we can get it back by pressing the S to D key again. The pi function is helpful with a lot of calculations. For example, if we want to calculate with circles. Let's say we wanted to find the circumference of a circle with a radius of 11 centimeters. We can use this formula here. C for circumference is equal to 2 pi times r. To enter that on our calculator, we just press the 2 and then the shift times 10 to the power of there. There we go, 2 pi. And then times r. Well, our radius is 11, so times 11. And press equals. And we see this gives us a result of 22 pi. And if we want that in decimals, again, we just hit the conversion or s to d key. And see, we get 69.115, etc. We can use this for calculating the area of a circle as well. Let's say we wanted to find the area of a circle with a radius of 12 centimeters. We would use this formula, pi times r squared. Again, we start by placing the pi on our screen, then times r, which was 12, and then we square that and press equals. We see we get an area of 144 pi which converts to 452.389, etc. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody!